Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Let's bring the magic of winter to your home with this adorable snowman wreath. This holiday wreath will not only add a touch of winter wonderland to your front door, but will also be a cheerful addition to your holiday decorations. So grab your crafting supplies and let's get started. Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Today we're gonna to be doing a really cute and easy snowman wreath, and we're gonna use a 14 inch wire wreath frame. You're gonna need one roll of deco mesh of your choice. I have this really pretty 10 inch roll from Hobby Lobby, and a medium sized snowman head. Now this isn't a tree topper, that one's a lot larger. This is a, um, this was from Hobby Lobby. It came on a big, like a garden stake. And I took the stake off the bottom and it's a medium size head. And you're gonna need some pipe cleaners. So let's get started. So we're gonna start prepping our 14 inch wire wreath frame. And this one is divided into six sections. And the crossbars divide each of the sections here. And I always name my bars from the outside going in. So we have one, two, three, and four. So we're gonna be using three pipe cleaners per section. So the first one, we're coming exactly right here in the middle. We're coming under the three and four, and we're gonna anchor it off the four bar. And we're giving it a couple twists, and we have that one right in the center. And the other two, we're gonna come just inside the crossbar here under the one and two and we're gonna anchor this one off the number one bar. And we're gonna do the same pattern for each of our sections, and this is gonna be our wreath prep. Very simple, just three per section. So let's go ahead and do one more together. We're coming under the three and four, right in the middle of those crossbars and anchoring off the number four. We're coming under the one and two, coming in an inch from that crossbar and anchoring off the number one. Same thing. So I'm gonna go around and get this whole wreath frame prepped and I'll be right back. So we have our wreath frame prepped here and we have our six Chanel stems in the center. We can push up and the other ones on, are on the outside. And we're gonna get our deco mesh and we're gonna get started making our wreath base. So we're gonna take our roll of deco mesh. I think this is so pretty. I've used it in a few designs and it just, look at that sparkle and it's got the texture, little pom-poms in the middle and it's just so pretty. So we're gonna, take it from the end we're going to go in about two inches and we're going to pinch and grab till we get to the other side and we have our piece of mesh here we're going to start with any of your inside chanel stems and we're going to place that right in the middle and we're going to give it a couple good twists and now we're going to take a zip tie and we're just going to secure this, the end here with a zip tie to that number four bar. And that's just gonna give it a little extra security there. And we'll clip this off at the end. And the end's a little frayed, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean it up a little bit. All right, so we have our mesh. Let me get my snowman out of the way. And we're gonna measure 10 inch poofs. And what we're gonna do is we are going to follow the inside around till we get to this end. We're gonna stretch it across this bar and then we're gonna do the same thing on the outside. And then we are gonna double up this design to make it nice and full. So we're gonna take our mesh and I'm going to just give it make sure it's kind of facing curl side down. And I'm gonna run my hands across the mesh to the 10 inch mark. I'm bringing it to the 20 inch here, which is 10 inches from here to here. 
and I'm going to place that into the next Chanel stem or pipe cleaner, or whatever you want to call them. And we're not going to fluff up our poof yet until we make it all the way around. So we're going to do that again, making our 10 inch poofs and we're coming around to the next set of pipe cleaners and we're giving that a good twist. And we're gonna do that same thing until we make it all the way around that center with our six Chanel stems. Very simple. We are just doing simple poofs and it's just gonna be make a beautiful wreath base here. And it's a great base for any design that you choose to do. And I just think, like I said before, that this mesh is really pretty. It's in the holiday section at Hobby Lobby. You can also get it on Amazon. So I'm coming up on the last poof here. So I'm gonna take my 10 inches. And this time, since we're gonna go back into the same one, we're gonna unwrap this so it doesn't get so thick. And then we're gonna come right back on top of there where we started and give it a twist. So at this point, we're gonna go and we are just gonna fluff up each of our poofs here. Just gonna fluff them up. And look at how pretty that is. Nice classic Christmas mesh. And you always hear me, if you've seen any of my videos, talk about texture. I love texture in my mesh and my design. So we've made it a full circle around the inside. And now we're gonna get another zip tie. And we're gonna stretch the mesh. We're coming to the outside ring now but we're just going to stretch it to this next zip tie. We're not doing our poof yet. We're stretching it across the bar. See how it's just stretched straight across that bar? And we can always put the zip tie on the number, under the number two and our mesh as well. You don't have to, but you can just give it a little extra security here. And we'll just do that so it's nice and flat across that bar. So now we're going to go around the outside. And we're going to stick with our 10 inch poofs because by doing so, we should be able to do two layers with one roll of mesh to make it really full. So we're gonna do that same thing. Now we're on the outside ring and we're making our 10 inch poofs and going all the way around. So I'm gonna continue going around till I get to the other side where I stretched it out and started. So now I've made it back to where I started on the outside ring. So I'm gonna untwist it. I'm going to lay my mesh right on top of that where I started. All right, and now we're gonna go around and we're gonna fluff out our poofs around that outside edge to each one. Now we're back along where we started on the outside edge and now see where we have the, our mesh that we stretched across the wreath form when we first started. We're gonna go back to that spot and we're gonna continue another layer here to build this up nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna untwist that. We're gonna stretch it back across. So you're just going right back over where we stretched it and placing it into that Chanel stem. So it's stretched across to the outside and now we're stretching over that same line 
back to the inside before we start our poofs. See, you just see that right there. All right, so you just, it gets a little sticky at this point and it, you're working over the mesh. So you have to just kind of guesstimate your 10 inches and it's going over it. So you could go in a little bit when you see your, your measuring mark because you're going over a little part of that mesh. And now we're gonna continue again on th the inside with our 10 inch poofs. And this one, I'll just fluff up each one as I go along because it's gonna start getting a little full on us. And we're gonna continue that till we get all six of these done using my mat as my guide here. We should be pretty close to being able to do two layers here. Just gets a little hard to see your mat, but we're doing the best that we can. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's very forgiving deco mesh. And at this point, we're just gonna keep fluffing out as we go. And my dog's trying to get into the studio and I can't let my puppy come in here because he starts grabbing everything and chewing it. And there goes my decorations, my mesh. So he's trying to get in as my old dog just lays there and sleeps. All right, we're coming up. We're getting close to where we started. I think we got one more. All right, we got one more and we've made our two layers around the inside. Get that last one and now you could tell it really starts wanting to stick this mesh is extra sticky it's just so pretty because it has that texture and foil in it and look at how pretty our base is getting and now we've made it back to that line here that we keep stretching it across and we're gonna do that same thing we're gonna where we have it stretched across, we're gonna undo our Chanel stem just so it doesn't keep getting really thick on us and we can get closer to that wreath base. And we're getting really close on our deco mesh here, so hopefully we'll be able to make it around the outside. There we go, so we have it stretched back there. And now we're gonna do that second layer around the outside. Coming up on our last two bundles and we have had exactly enough mesh here to do two layers in the 10 inch poofs on the inside and two layers, look at that, exactly enough here. Let me get this off the roll here. Now if we did those poofs any bigger, we would not have had enough. Try to get this tape off here. Let me see where we're at here. And woo, look at that, exactly just enough. Then we could cut that tape off 10 inches right here. And now we're going on that very last one, which is getting kind of thick because we keep going back and forth along that bar. So now we can untwist the zip tie We'll stick that right in there. And we have just used up one full roll of deco mesh. And now we have this end here of our mesh 
that we are going to zip tie. We're going to flip it over and we're going to zip tie this to the number one bar. And then I can clip, clip off that tape ends right there. trim this off all right so we have a gorgeous wreath base that we just did together with one roll of deco mesh and look at how full and fluffy that is and just how pretty and that is just going to make a beautiful wreath. And we have it all fluffed out. If you could, if you still want to fluff some more out, just take your time and go around your wreath. And we still have our Chanel stems. We're going to use some of those Chanel stems to attach some ornaments. And we're going to finish off others. But basically, that is our beautiful base for our wreath. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish off all the inside Chanel stems. We won't be using those. So we're going to flip our wreath over and the ones that were in the middle, we're going to bring to the back. We're going to go on each side of the number four bar and we're going to pull those up, twist them about a half an inch and clip those off. And then we can bend that back towards the bar. So we're going to go through and do each of those. It's, you could just keep it on this side. You could see where the bar is and then you just kind of fish for them. Getting them to the back of your wreath here. Each side of that bar. And twisting. Clipping that off, and I'm going to go ahead and finish the other four. So I finished off all the Chanel stems on the inside, and now we're going to get our snowman prepped to place in the center of our wreath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple floral stems here, and we're gonna do one right underneath the brim of this hat. And you're not even gonna see it. We're gonna come right around the hat and we're going to twist it. And then we're gonna use that to secure it to our wreath frame. And then we're also gonna flip him over and we're gonna just do one through the scarf or you can poke it through the foam, whatever you wanna do. This has a nice wired edge in the scarf and I'm gonna go right under that. Try to get through the scarf here. There we go. And I'm gonna twist this. Give it a couple twists. And now we have two floral wires that we can use to connect to our wreath frame. So we're just simply gonna bring those through the middle here of our design. And we're gonna nestle our snowman head. We're gonna, we could pull some mesh out, get them nestled right however you like. Making sure that mesh is. And we don't, we don't want them, we want them nestled in a little bit not like floating so high on top, but just get it how you like it, about like that. And we're gonna flip it over. And now we have our floral wires right here that we can use to connect to our wreath frame. So this one, I'm gonna connect to that number four bar. I don't really have too much slack on this, but enough that I can get it connected. And this one, we're gonna bring down to the number one down here. And before we finish these off, let's make sure that we like the placement. Flip it over. 
There we go. And he's so cute. He's got little coal eyes. I love it. And the scarf. It's These are so cute. I did these for a snowman uh, wreath party and I bought a whole bunch at Hobby Lobby. I took all the sticks off and I just think he's so cute. So there we have our snowman nestled in those layers of deco mesh and look at how cute he looks. So I like where that's at. So let's go ahead and just tighten up everything here. Make it a little bit more finished. And there we go. And I'm gonna bend that in half and then back towards the design. And this one, I won't have to bend in half. I'll just push that back towards the design. So now we have our snowman secured to our wreath frame. And we have all of our double layers here, making sure everything is poofed out nice and for our design. We haven't finished off the Chanel stems on the outside yet because we might be using some of those to connect our ribbon bundles and some um, different accents. All right, so now we're gonna get ready to decorate our snowman. I've already added a couple ribbon bundles here that we're gonna do. And we still have 12 pipe cleaners around the outside. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add six ribbon bundles. We're gonna go to every other one and add these ribbon bundles and some cute bulb accents in the middle. So I have this beautiful ribbon. It's a one and a half inch candy striped ribbon. It's so pretty. I got this at Michael's. Michael's or Hobby Lobby? I'm not quite, I don't really remember exactly, but I just know that I loved it. And it's got a nice wired edge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these into 11 inch strips. And I already have them all prepped here. They're cut into 11 inch strips and I have them all dovetailed at the ends. And so we're going to attach them very simply to our Chanel stems that are already on our snowman wreath here. And we're gonna skip and we're gonna do every other one. So I have my my bundle here, I've skipped this set. I have a bundle here, I'm gonna skip. And so that's gonna give us six bundles going around the edge. So all this we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two pieces of ribbon and we're just gonna do a little crisscross like so. And we don't have to go like that. We're just doing a just a slight little crisscross. We're going to pinch and gather in the middle and quite simply place it right there in the middle of our Chanel stem and give it a good twist. And once you have it in there, then you can play with your ribbon. You could separate it and curl those edges. I always like to just kind of take your finger and rub it down the ribbon and it gives it that nice curled look. And you could twist them, you could turn them. So we're going to do that and we're going to go all the way around our wreath. So I've went around our wreath with our six bundles alternating the Chanel stems on the outside. And now we're going to add some finishing touches on the inside. And we're going to take these little ornaments that I found from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the ends here. And we're going to use some hot glue and just glue right on, glue that back on. So that's going to stay nice and secure. And I'm going to do that to all six. And... These are going to be our little finishing touches that are going to go on the inside of those ribbons. 
So let me finish this. I'm using my Bleds hot glue gun. It's a rechargeable glue gun and I absolutely love it. I have the links to all my favorite crafting supplies in the description box, in the tutorial. And it'll take you to my Amazon store and you'll find all my favorite crafting items there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these prepped here. So I have these all glued back on here, and now we're gonna use these little ornaments here to be a little finishing touch here in the center of our bow. So I'm gonna use the pipe cleaners, and we're gonna go through the ornament one way, and the opposite direction we're going to go through. And it might not seem like they're gonna fit, but they will. Um, they'll fit through the top here. And that one's going down the side. There you go. See, the, they'll fit one way and they'll fit the other. And then we're going to grab them and give it a good tug, just like that. And now we can finish these off. We're going to twist it a few times. So it's about a quarter of an inch long. And we'll clip it and then bend that Chanel stem down towards the wreath frame. And that's gonna be a cute little finishing touch on our bow here. And we're gonna do that same thing for each of the six bundles that we have here. I'm going in one direction and the opposite direction with the other one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull. And finish this off. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other four that we have and bend that down. So I'm going to keep going around till I get the rest of these finished. So now what we're going to do is we're going to finish off these the six Chanel stems that we did not use and we're going to bring those just like we finished off the other ones. We're bringing it to the back of the wreath. I'm not flipping it over. You know what I'm doing. I'm going on each side of the bar or I'll just flip it over. And we're going to finish off those other six Chanel stems. There we go. Just like we finished off those ones on the inside, we're gonna do the same thing with the six on the outside. So I'm gonna go around and finish these off. So we have the six Chanel stems finished off and we have our cute snowman wreath starting to take form here. And now we're going to do just the last finishing touches. I have these little snowballs. They come on a pick here from Hobby Lobby. And what we're going to do is we're going to take those balls right off just like that. I'm going to pull right off the wire and we're going to use these little balls, these cute little snowballs here. And now we're going to just where we did those Chanel stems, where we just finished off all those Chanel stems in between our ribbon bundles. We're just going to glue those right in there for our last finishing touch here. And look how cute that's going to look. Little snowballs in our snowman design. I mean, you could put these anywhere that you want. You don't have to put them in that one spot right there, but I'm gonna keep them pretty similar here. Let's see, that one will go inside a little bit. Like I said, you could place them anywhere you want, but you're gonna find your placement. And then we're just gonna take our hot glue and we're gonna, Put some hot glue on there 
and we are just going to put them into our design just like that wherever that you want to add your little snowballs if you see any gaps any spaces that can use a little filler it's a great way to cover up that and these get, are very forgiving with the um the texture on them they're going to stick to your design here wherever you decide that you place them and this is going to be our last finishing touch to our super cute and fun snowman design and you can fluff up all your ribbons all your bows the way that you want to and you can curl them around your fingers and look at how cute we're going to add a hanger on the back and if you want to finish your backs of your wreaths you're welcome to do that as well and I always like to take a nice, sturdy zip tie to do my hangers on the back. And I'm just going to bring it through the wire frame here. There, there we go. Put my zip tie, zip tie it about an inch or so. And it just gives you a little alternate hanger. You can always use the wire wreath frame as well. And you can finish your back with a piece of felt, a piece of foam core, cut it the size of your wreath frame, add some hole punches and zip tie it to the frame for a nice finishing touch. And that completes our cute snowman wreath design. And I hope you had fun crafting this adorable snowman wreath with me today and that you'll come back to my channel and craft with me some more. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow for more wreath and crafting ideas. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies, from my heart to yours. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow me for more wreath and crafting ideas. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies.